All right, we're going to make a horn. And uh, you'll notice that it has a circular profile, but you're welcome to use any other shape. You could use octagons, hexagons, squares. And you could even rotate the shapes as you make it to give your horn a kind of twisted look. OK. So let's start a new part studio. And I am using millimeters for mine. So it all starts with a sketch. And I'm going to start on the front plane so that you can see the side. And you start a spline. All right. So always connect it there to the origin. And you need about four or five points for your spline. Give it a nice, even curve. OK. And then escape once you've got your spline. Finish your sketch. Now these should be spaced out reasonably far apart, you know, four or so millimeters at least for the size that we're thinking of on the ornament project. Um, but it's up to you to kind of determine that. Now the next part is we need to place planes at each of these middle points. We don't need a plane here because we're going to use the plane that it's attached to, the flat plane that it's at the right plane. And then we don't need one at the end because it's going to come to a point. If you wanted to put a plane there and make uh, your end point, your end of your horn something other than a single point, then you could do that. All right, so let's select. We need to place new planes. So select the plane tool. And we want a line point or curve point. OK, so we're going to select the point and the curve. Boom. And it, see how it places a, a plane? You can see, looking from the side, it just looks like a line. But if we rotate, you can see it's a plane. All right. OK, and finish. And then we're going to do the same thing for the next point. We want a curve point there and the curve. See, there's another plane. Finish. And then we need a third one. So select the point and the curve that it's normal to. And we need curve point. There we go. Boom. OK, so now we've got our three, point, three planes. So the next step is uh, starting from this plane right here, which is the right plane. We're going to turn it. We're going to draw a sketch on the right plane. We're going to draw a circle. So now you, it gets kind of confusing with all these other planes on here. So, so so it might help if you turn these other ones off and then turn them on only when you need it. So our first sketch is going to go right here on the right plane. So I'm going to start a sketch on the right plane. And I need a circle right there at the center. So I'm going to get a center point circle. And I'm going to make mine 10 millimeters. OK, now you can adjust your own size till you get it large enough. But 10 millimeters is about the smallest I would go for the base. Um, 3D printers have trouble going smaller, making it adequate. And it, it gets pretty flimsy after that. It can break pretty easily. All right, and then that's it. Finish that sketch. OK. Then I'm going to hide these other planes by clicking the eyes on them so they don't confuse me. And I want to see plane 1. Okay, And I want to look straight at that plane. And I want to start a sketch on that first plane. There you go. Make sure I'm looking straight at that. OK. So. That's for this next point right here. So I want to start a circle that's on that point. I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because it's not too far away. So I'm going to make that 9. Okay. All right. And finish that sketch. And then I'm going to hide that plane and make the next one visible and start a sketch on plane 2. And then I want to look, make sure I'm looking at it. 
and it's this point right here. So I need to start a circle on that point. Okay, and I want it to be a little bit smaller than the last one, which was nine. So maybe seven and a half or eight. Um, it's really kind of up to me. I think seven and a half probably would be good. Again, this takes experimenting. So you just have to play with it. All right, there we go. So we got plane two. So hide that one. And then I'm going to reveal plane three, which is this point right here. So I'm going to start a sketch on plane three. Now I'm going to look normal to that plane by pressing the N key. I, N is how I get it to rotate, so I'm looking straight at it. I'm going to start a sketch right there, a little circle right on that point. Make sure to anchor it to that point or coincident to that point with a yellow square. And this is pretty close to the end, so I'm going to make this, oh, say about five. Okay. And there we go. All right, so if we go back to our isometric view and we hide, uh, reveal everything, you could press the P key to make all those planes appear and disappear all at once, Okay, rather than having to click the I for each one. You can press the P key. The P does that, makes all the planes come back. Okay, and I want to hide these planes because that's kind of confusing for me. All right, so now you should have a sketch that kind of looks like this, a spline with circles attached to it. And the next step is just to loft this. So we're going to select loft. Okay, we're going to start from the base and then click the circles in order. And you can see your horn progressing. It didn't like that one, so we may have to adjust that. Let's go to the next one. And there. There we go. Well, okay. So it liked it once we got to the end. So sometimes it doesn't like it in the middle, but it likes it once you get to the end point. It says, oh, yeah, I can do that. And if you rotate around, you can kind of see there's your horn. Okay. All right. And finish. And that is a Viking horn. Now, you can adjust. If you want to adjust the curvature, all you have to do is go back here and move these points. So see how I pulled that one down? You'll see how the horn kind of jumps down. All right. Now, uh, the neat thing is uh, you can also mirror and circular pattern these. So if you have uh, some space and you want to mirror this on the other side, all you have to do is select mirror, select the loft, entity to mirror, loft, we want that. And then the mirror plane, and you generally need a mid plane somewhere that's in the middle. So I'm going to, the right plane is here. So if I select the right plane for the mirror plane, boom, you can see um, that uh, you got a horn exactly on the other side. And if you adjust the first one, the other one changes. Okay. Uh, you can also circular pattern this. Okay, so we can circular pattern, uh, select the loft here, and we need an axis. Uh, so uh, we need, let's see, we need, da, 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 da. oh, we need to place an axis right through there. So we need a line that goes straight. So on our front sketch, we could create an axis. So what we would have to do, go back and edit our sketch one. And then just draw some kind of line that goes straight up and down. There's our axis. So we want to re revolve it around that. So what we're going to do is circular pattern. Select the loft. Make sketch one visible so we can see that. And then we can select that as axis. And see, it makes four horns. You could select anything else as your axis. So you could get horns around, so kind of like a crown of horns if you wanted. Okay, and That's de a definite possibility. Okay, and You can make more horns. You could make less horns. Uh, can make five horns. Okay, Really doesn't matter uh, how you do it. Okay, So that is how you make a Viking horn.